Hey guys, it's Arika Misha. Y'all already know where I'm at. In the kitchen. I'm getting ready to cook this nice quick meal any day of the week whenever you want to cook it. I'm just showing you the quick and easy way to do it to get you in and out of the kitchen. Because y'all know, I ain't got all day. So let's go. Alright, so today's meal will be, I will be doing, let me show you guys the meat first. I will be doing now this particular pork as you guys can see it is the boneless rib pork meat and basically that's our stove nice and hot it's ready and basically all I did is I just chopped it as you guys can see I just chopped it into nice little cubes oh don't that look so good y'all oh I'll be having y'all all in the business all in the business yes so basically what I did is I chopped the pork up into little small thick cubes once again, that's the boneless uh, ribs. I just chopped it up into small cubes. Uh, we've got our Kraft Sweet Honey Barbecue Sauce. Now, Kraft sauce is really good, y'all. Don't sleep on the Kraft. It's really good. Um, I do have a little bit of Sweet Baby Ray's. I don't know. I might mix them. I don't know. Uh, of course, y'all know I got my Old Faithful Publix Canola Oil. And I have two boxes of the Idahoan Cheesy Scallop Homestyle Casserole Potatoes. Yes. Cheesy, cheesy. Look at that. Oh yeah, they're gonna be cheesy. I fixed those before. Those are really good. So I, I was craving some barbecue, a barbecue pork, like a barbecue rib. So I went with the boneless rib and some cheese. I was gonna do mac and cheese, but I was like, nah, I always do mac and cheese. So my daughter was like, ah, oh, do cheesy potatoes. So I was like, okay, y'all know how it is. So. That's what we got going on today, y'all, and I'm jumping right into it. I've got my oven already preheated. I've got my Pioneer Woman pan number one over here ready, and y'all see pan number two over there ready. Ready already. Y'all know I stay ready. So, I got my pan ready. I already cleaned my pan up. Get this spray at the bottom so my meat ain't sticking. I'm going to get my meat in here. Let me get a fork. Totally forgot to get my fork. Alright, so let's get our meat in our pan. I'm just pouring my meat in the pan and I'm going to roast it in the oven. I'm going to roast it. And this is some nice thick pork. Shouldn't take long to cook. I'm going to put it at 350 degrees. It'll probably take about 30 minutes to cook. Because like I said, you know, I chopped it up into chunks, but it's thick pork meat. So it's going to take a little while because I want it to get nice and brown and roasted. So. Pouring it all in, pouring it in our pan, everybody in there, so everybody can get ready to get cooked up, okay, put your meat down in there nice and good, it smells so good y'all, I got, I mean I got all kind of good seasons, I got the Italian season, my salt free season, I got it all in there, I put some garlic chunks in here, and I mix it all up, oh my goodness, I've been loving garlic lately, I've been wanting to put garlic on everything lately, I don't know why y'all, but that's what I've been doing, so we got our meat in here, I'm going to spray our meat, spray my meat real good, Remember, the oil helps the meat cook. It helps your meat cook. Mix that up. And I'm going to spray again. Yeah, so. This is what I'm cooking, y'all. Some boneless barbecue pork. And some cheesy scalloped potatoes. Ooh, y'all can't tell me that don't sound good. Mm-mm-mm. Quick, easy meal. Any day of the week. Quick, easy meal. Alright, well, I got our meat all ready. I'm going to go ahead and get it in the oven. Got my oven preheated over there. 350 degrees, y'all, like I said. I'm going to put it in there for about 30 minutes. I'll see how long it takes. Show y'all. Give y'all a nice little... Mm-hmm. It's ready. Alright, let me go ahead and get this in the oven. Then I'll be back so we can do our scalloped potatoes. All right, let's get into our potatoes. So I've got my potatoes dumped out of the box into my pan and they just pretty much just, just potatoes. All right, so we got that dumped out, our cheese packet that comes with the potatoes. We gotta dump that in there. This nice and quick too, I love it. 
So I'm doing two boxes. So I have got to double my ingredients. So I've got double my milk. Let me see what they say here. One half cup of boiling water, three fourth cup of milk, one tablespoon of butter. So you guys will see I got everything double. Preheat the oven to 450. Uh, combine potatoes and sauce. Mix in one half quart baking dish. So I've got to mix my potatoes and cheese. And then stir in one half cup of boiling water, three fourth cup of milk, and one tablespoon of butter and margarine. Uncovered, bake for, I'm sorry, bake uncovered for 25 minutes or until top is golden brown. Quick and easy, y'all. Quick and easy. So <laughs> that's what we're doing. We're mixing this, the potatoes and the cheese sauce up. Which I don't know why they say mix the potatoes and the dry uh, cheese sauce up because it's kind of hard to mix these potatoes in this dry sauce. I mean, how are you going to mix this? These, these two ain't going to really mix. So, anyway, let me pour in my boiling hot water over here. Got my boiling hot water. Pouring that in. All right, let's get our milk in. We're just pouring everything in. Let's go. Pouring that milk in and those two tablespoons of butter. All right. One tablespoon, two tablespoons. Y'all know I'm using that old country crop. Okay, and I'm just mixing this. Of course, the hot water melts everything together. Hot water gonna melt your butter. Mix everything in that cheesy powder. You gotta make sure that get all mixed real good for you. I'm telling you, I'm really loving my Pioneer Woman dishes. I love it. They hold heat really good. I mean, they're ceramic, duh. But they hold heat really good. And they get your food cooked right on up. Pioneer Woman, she wasn't playing when she made these dishes. Cooks your food right on up. It don't take all day. Like, I honestly think that I've been noticing. I think these uh, Pioneer Woman dishes cook up faster than the um, regular aluminum. You know, like your regular cooking pans and dishes. Just my opinion. <clears throat> I mean, the ceramic holds heat different, of course, so. But that's what I've been realizing, that they cook a lot faster than my pans and I think they so pretty pretty dishes to cook in pretty hope everybody is doing good out there hope all is well we taking it one day at a time here in Florida y'all know I live in Sunday Florida please keep Florida in your prayers Please keep us all in your prayers. Some areas got it worse than others. Y'all know that. It's been all over the news. But let's just keep everybody in our prayers, especially those who lost so much. Keep everybody in prayer, God. I pray for everybody all the time because you never know what's going to happen. Constantly keep everybody in prayer. Your old family, other people's family. Just pray for the whole world when you pray because you don't want to miss nobody. Just pray for the whole world. I just pray for the whole world. So I'm just stirring this up real good, guys. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some parsley across the top. Make sure I got my butter all melted and my cheese sauce all mixed up real good. That's why I'm scraping the bottom. Make sure I got that cheese sauce all nicely mixed. Make sure all that cheese powder got mixed in real good. Looking good. It looks good. I, I mean, we've had these before. We've had these cheese. They've got them. In, they've got all kind of flavors. They've got the cheesy, the I think it's like a triple cheese. They've got the bacon and cheddar, uh, sour cream. I mean Idaho, and they got, you know, they got different flavors. If you don't want to do the cheesy, we pretty much had them all. And I'm sorry, but the potatoes they got to come from Idaho, y'all. They got. Ain't that's where all the potatoes come from anyway? I think so. Oh no, I know they might not be the only place that grow potatoes, but I'm sorry. If I, if I want potatoes, I want my potatoes to come from Idaho. They got the best potatoes, so just my opinion. 
<laughs> oh, I'm so silly, child. All right, so we got this all mixed in. Make sure everything nice and make sure you got your potatoes all flat and not. They ain't in no big chunk. Make sure they all under that um, liquid too. All under that liquid. And they sh this should all uh, cook up in about 25 minutes like the instructions say. So I'm making sure everything, make sure ain't got no big chunks nowhere. Make sure everybody under that milk. Make sure everybody under that covering. Word of the day. Make sure you're covered by the word. Make sure you're covered by the Lord. Make sure you you got some kind of covering. Too much going on in the world, y'all. Y'all, we got to get covered. We got to get covered, y'all. We got to get covered. Word of the day. Get yourself covered. Covered by the Holy Spirit. Too much going on. All right. So, we got everything all nice and pretty. I'm going to sprinkle some parsley across the top. Because I know once this all this liquid bakes out, it'll just be your potatoes. Your cheesy potatoes. It's already green, but I'm just going to add a little bit more parsley to it. So when it bake down, y'all will see when that liquid bakes out, it'll be so, so pretty. All right, girl, that's enough parsley. All right, let me go ahead, get this in the oven. Remember, we've already got our um, pork in the oven as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in there too. Oh, yeah, I put everything in there. If I can fit everything in the oven, I'm putting it on there. Everybody cook together. Everybody going to cook together. Whole house going to smell like your whole meal. That's how I do it over here. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Uh, next uh, scene going to be the grand finale. The grand finale. The barbecue pork. Y'all already know I'm going to pull the pork out. Put the barbecue sauce on it. Y'all already know I'm going to do that. Put the barbecue pork uh, sauce all over it. Get it all juiced up. Then I'll put it back in the oven. That's what I'm going to do. So the next thing going to be the grand finale. Okay, guys, this is the grand finale. I will take y'all over to the Idaho potatoes first. Ooh, they look amazing. Amazing. I'll give y'all a minute to stare at those potatoes. You know what? I'm going to do one good. I'm going to take y'all in like I always do. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, child, them potatoes look anointed, don't they? Anointed. Cheese and potatoes, y'all, from Idaho. The potatoes got to come from Idaho. Don't get y'all potatoes from nowhere else but Idaho. Woo-wee. And the barbecue pork looks amazing with the parsley. I already put parsley on there for y'all. Woo-wee. Let me take y'all back in. Give y'all one more, one more. Mm, 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 mm. Well, well, well. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge, oh yeah, it's power. Thanks, guys. Bye.